Welcome back to California Live. Well, pro sports are finally back. However, what do we do with our kids who wanted to join a little league or start playing sports in school this fall? Well, I spoke to Christy Pierce Rampone, three time Olympic gold medalist and captain of the U.S. women's national soccer team, as well as Dr. Christine Keene, sports neuropsychologist, on the importance of getting your kids into sports during the pandemic. And they also talk about their new book, Be All In Raising Kids for Success in Sports and Life. So, Christy and Dr. Keene, thank Thank you so much for joining me today. First of all, what an interesting book to release right now, considering the circumstances that are happening with this pandemic. So I want to talk about the book, Be All In, Raising Kids for Success in Sports and Life, and why you chose to write this book. Yeah, Dr. Keen and I teamed up together, obviously having different experiences. Dr. Keen with the clinical side, as well as my side of playing for the last 20 years, coaching over the last 20 years in the youth, um, as well as being sports moms. And we just wanted to try to change the climate of sports and make parents aware of the why they put their kid into sports and trying to have a better journey through sports. How do you continue to guide your kids through their sport or even introduce them? My child's four years old, he's really interested mm -hmm. in baseball, but I can't put him in little league right now. So how do you continue to do that or, or continue training with your kid? So this is a really great time to get your kids interested in a variety of unstructured activities which are really great for helping kids learn how to be passionate about the sports that they're in. Um, it's also a great time to train the mental aspect of the game because so many times we're so focused on the championships and the wins and the traveling. So this is a great time to kind of sit back and talk about the why. Why we put our children in these sports. There are so many great chapters. I want to start with the first one, uh, you talk about giving sports back to kids. What do you mean by that? We just, you know, talked about parents like self-reflecting and not really pushing their interests on their child, allowing their child to choose their interests and allow them to write their own script. And for parents just to be able to sit back and um, enjoy the ride with them and not push too hard and let these children just enjoy sports like we said free play going on right now nothing really structured no one really analyzing and critiquing athletes right now and that's kind of the road we hope when this all does open up again that it'll be a, a fun ride for the kids and they get to explore and experience who they truly are and be their authentic selves not someone that their parents want them to be yeah i know you have so a four-year-old but when, once once your child is older you'll see youth sports becomes <laughs> trainings and practices and tournaments and so give the game back to the kids saying let's let them decide what they want to do and maybe back up on some of that yeah absolutely and then chapter five talks about mental toughness i find this so fascinating this is a really interesting topic for me how do you teach mental toughness without allowing your kid to burn out or really end up hating a sport yeah, we say it's kind of two parts. Some kids have it naturally and others, it is a process and you have to keep encouraging and developing that mental toughness through helping them push through those uncomfortable times and realizing that it's going to be uncomfortable for you as well and try to be comfortable in those situations. We talk a lot about the inner voice in the book of mm -hmm. changing that negative voice to a positive, just like in these current times, thinking this as an opportunity versus a threat and building and just enjoying sports again and playing with your team and working on the technical side of it rather than compete, compete, compete and worried about I'm not in front of college coaches or I'm, I'm not getting any better. This is the time to self-reflect and just work as a unit, stay connected with your team so when it does open up, they can be prepared. But that inner voice is, is truly important for kids. Well, thank you so much, Christy and Dr. Keen. This is such a fantastic book, really, to introduce into your kids' library right now uh, during this pandemic. And you can all purchase the book, Be All In, Raising Kids for Success in Sports and Life, wherever books are sold. Thank you so much.